Welcome along to stage two of La Vuelta 20. After a superb performance from Jumbo Visma and stage winner Primoz Roglic yesterday, the favourites will have to be wary again today. Just over 150k on the menu with another tasty finale. The Category 1 Alta de San Miguel, 9.4 kilometres at 7.9%. It could split the GC contenders once again, especially with the summit coming just 17k from the finish line. Now it wasn't easy getting up the road when the flag dropped. Tim Vellens finally sparking the move. The Belgian in the breakaway for the second day running and he was joined by Bruno Armirai, Jonathan Hiver, Gonzalo Serrano and local rider Alex Aramburu. The peloton letting them pull around four minutes clear with Jumbo Visma. Who else dictating the pace? So Roglic already in red wearing the leader's jersey of a Grand Tour for the 28th time. On the day's second climb, Velens pulled clear of the rest of the breakaway. The Lotto Sudal leader targeting the polka dot jersey for best climber and perhaps even the stage win. He was no real threat to the race leader Roglic, having lost 15 minutes and 30 seconds on the opening stage. Reaching the summit with the gap now six minutes to the pack. But Movistar then decided to seriously up the ante, making the most of the crosswinds to cause splits and a bit of panic in the peloton. The desperate chase meant that they were even forced to skip lunch. In the end though, none of the big favourites caught out. Two-time winner Chris Froome though, set to lose more time, having already shipped 11 minutes yesterday. Well, Velens eventually realised that he wouldn't go all the way and eased up. The race coming back together at the foot of the tough final climb. And it was Army Rai from the original breakaway who was the last man to be reeled back in. The lead group soon thinning out on the Alto de San Miguel. Six kilometres from the summit, Luis Leon Sanchez attacked. The Spanish champion grabbing a handful of seconds. But Movistar continued to hammer away with Marc Soler causing all sorts of damage. Sanchez was soon swept up and just like yesterday, a select group of nine riders led the way to the summit. Felix Groschartner and Andrea Baggioli losing contact as Carapaz picked up maximum points at the top. A much longer descent to the finish line than on stage one. And after putting in a huge shift uphill, Soler shot off like an arrow downhill. The Spaniard, winner of Paris-Nice two years ago, targeting a first ever Grand Tour victory. Sepp Kuss and George Bennett leading the chase for Jumbo Visma, but there would be no catching the crafty Catalan. A big, big moment for this rider from Movistar in their home area. He's given them something huge to shout about. Marc Soler wins stage two of the Vuelta Espana. Remarkably, this is only a fourth professional victory for Soler since his breakout win at the Tour de l'Avenir 2015. A memorable moment for the 26-year-old who was in a position to win a stage last year but had to wait for Nairo Quintana. Also a much needed triumph for Movistar on their home stage. It's my first Grand Tour win, I'm just so happy. It's about time we got a reward for our efforts in what has been a very tough year. I just want to thank everybody in the team and all the people who've supported us. Soler then coming in ahead of Roglic and Dan Martin who picked up useful bonus seconds on the finish line. The top 10 on the day. In the overall standings, Roglic now leads Dan Martin by nine seconds overall with Carapaz in third. Soler's back in the top 10 having lost a minute and 27 yesterday. Roglic also leads the points classification, although it's Dan Martin who'll be in the green jersey tomorrow. That's because Carapaz will be the man shrugging on the polka dot jersey for best climber. Ecuadorian, level on points with Sepp Kuss. And finally, Enric Mas is the best young rider with a minute and 29 seconds in hand on Baggioli of the Koenig quick step. Well, there's more of the same to come tomorrow as Roglic wears red on the road to La Laguna Negra, the first proper summit finish of this race and more fun and games for the GC contenders.